So here we're given a specific voltaic cell, and since we're not given information about any electrical pulse or electrical input, this has to be a galvanic cell. So the only favorable reaction that can occur is the oxidation of zinc and the reduction of nickel. And by determining the E0 cell, which can be retrieved from a table, it's equivalent to 0 0.53 volts. And we can see that we go from a zero oxidation state to a plus two oxidation state for zinc. So we have to transfer two moles of electrons for that process to occur. And we're also given information that we have a concentration of nickel of 1.50 molars, a concentration of zinc of 0 0.100 molars. So we're under non-standard conditions. So we have to apply our Nernst equation. And Q is the reaction quotient, which would be the concentration of species that change in solution. So that would be the concentration of zinc divided by the concentration of nickel. And we can use this information to determine our E cell. So our E cell would be 0 0.53 minus uh, our gas constant temperature, which is 298 Kelvin, and our Faraday's constant. This would be the natural log of 0.1 divided by 1.5. And we can find that our E cell is equivalent to 0 0.56 volts. And in the next part, we're asked what would happen when the concentration of nickel would be equivalent to 0 0.500 molars. That means that there would have to be a change of 1.00 molar of a decrease in concentration of nickel. And that decrease would contribute to an increase in the concentration of zinc, since this is a one-to-one -one stoichiometric ratio. So the concentration of zinc now would be equivalent to 1.100 molars. So this is our first part. This is our second part. And now, once again, we can apply our Nernst equation. And we divide 1.1 by 0.5. And as a result, we find our E cell is equivalent to 0 0.52 volts. And next, we're asked what happens when the concentration decreases to 0 0.45 volts. So 0 0.45 volts would be equivalent to the E0 cell minus RT over NF, natural log of our reaction quotient. As the reaction progresses, uh, essentially the concentration of nickel will decrease while the concentration of zinc will increase. So nickel initially has a concentration of 1.50. Its final concentration can be described by minus x. So the final concentration would be 1.50 minus x. While that for zinc is going to increase, so this would be plus x. And now we can write this essentially as a reaction quotient, which is the concentration of zinc divided by the concentration of nickel. And now based on this information, we can use this to determine the uh, value of x in our final uh, amounts. So 0 0.45 minus 0.53. Then we have our uh, RT over NF factor. And we can uh, exponentiate. And now we find that our reaction quotient is equivalent to 508. So this is equivalent to 0 0.100 plus x over 1.50 minus x. So now we can substitute and solve. So this would be uh, one side, it would be 509x. And the other side would be equivalent to just about uh, 762. So now we can divide. So divide by 509. And we can see that x is equivalent to about 1.497 molars. So that means the concentration of our uh, zinc would be equivalent to 0 0.1 plus that quantity, uh, quant uh, quantity 
which would be about 1.597 molars, while the concentration of our nickel would be equivalent to about 0.003 molars. And this gives our final answers.